Welcome to HTX. Profile cut. Flaps up. Low rate. What is going on? This is Altone, and today, as promised, I wanted to show you how to personalize your splash screen, how to put your, your own background screen, and how to change or add your model photos to your TX16S Mark II radio. So this is specific to the Radio Master uh, TX16S. If you're using a different radio type, um, the dimensions of your photos may be a little bit different, just to let you know that. But essentially, if you have this radio, or like I said, another similar, like the, radio, uh, the Jumper T18, then this is actually gonna work for you. And uh, if you don't, all you really have to do is go into your SD card, and check the dimensions on your SD card for the models that are in for the different files in the locations that I'm gonna show you um, so that you'll know what size those files need to be. And if you do that, then you should be good to go. So before we get into how to make the changes, let me show you what mine look like. So on my TX16S, this is what my startup screen looks like when I first started up. That's my splash screen. And of course, you can ignore all the rest of those nice little sounds. But this is what um, my background looks like. You can't see it very well here, but um, that's the background. And I'll show you on the computer screen in a moment what that, what that background actually looks like. And then of course you see my test mod uh, model here on the screen, which is a picture that I took right here on my desk of my test model that I use on a regular basis. So that you get an, get an idea of what that actually looks like. So let's talk about how I did that. First of all, the only thing that you really need to do is you need to know where those files are located. You need to know what to name those files so they show up on your radio the way you want them to. And you need to know what size or dimensions each one of those images should be for your radio. And all of this is very simple. And just to give you a quick tip, I actually use Affinity Photo to make all of my thumbnails and all of that. And that is what I actually used in order to create these images. So once you create an image, you can possibly go into your Mac or your PC and do some editing, adjust the size, and then crop your photos to these dimensions and you should be good to go. So let me give you the locations really quick and I'll try to put those up on the screen so you can see them. So for your background photo, you're gonna put that in your themes slash HTX folder. You're gonna name your background file background.png. And as long as you're not using a theme that has its own background, your radio will recognize that this particular image is the one that you want to use. And it will replace the standard HTX background on your radio. Your splash screen is actually going to be named splash, all lowercase, .png. And it's actually gonna go into your images folder along with all of your model photos. So there's already a splash.png. And one of the things I didn't mention before is I would suggest that you rename your current splash before you put the new one in. So rename it to two, three, or old or something like that, and then put the new one in because th that way you don't overwrite it when you put it into that folder. And from that point forward, when you start your radio up, that is the screen that's gonna come up when it says, welcome to HTX, as mine did. And last but not least, there's models. Now your model images are actually going in the images folder as well. So you're gonna name it whatever you want to. I would keep the name as short as possible. And then you can drop it on your SD card, in your radio, in the images folder. And then when it's time for you to actually set up your model for or your model photo for a particular model that you're setting up, you can just go down the list and find that model and use that model. So the only other thing that you're gonna re really need to know is what are the dimensions of each one of these files. The, um, the dimensions of your background and your splash screen image are both the same. They're 480 by 272 
pixels. And of course, that is specific to the RadioMaster TX16S or light radios, because there's a few of them out there like the Jumper T18. It's the same image dimension. But your models, your model images, um, they can actually be a little bit different. A good rule of thumb for your model images is to make sure that they are 192 by 114. I believe those are the max, uh, the max resolution images that those particular images can be. So anytime I make a model's image, for my radio, for one of my models that I'm creating, I'll take a picture myself and then I'll go into my favorite photo editing program and then I'll resize that photo and maybe put some graphics on it if I decide I want to. And there you go. It's, and then put it into your images folder on your radio and there you go it'll be available for you to use so i mean this is this is really a really simple process i believe a few people have actually done videos on this before and uh, i just wanted to make sure i shared that with you in case you hadn't seen any of this before you knew how to do it and i absolutely love it because this gives me an opportunity to really personalize my radio and when you get around people who don't know that much about rc and they see you know, your screen come up with your photo on there and it's somewhat customized. It at least gives off the impression that you know a lot about what you're doing. <laughs> I'll just say it that way. So thanks so much for stopping by and checking this out with me. I hope it helped you out in some way. Have an absolutely fantastic day and hopefully we'll be getting into some more stuff on this radio as well as some other things here in the very near future. Take care and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. more throttle as we're going down. And we're going to bring it out to that side again. I can go to the trees.